welcome to a new episode of Rambling Tea Time. I'm Chris and this is Kim. Hello. How have you been, Kim? Great. Okay. How have you been, Chris? I've been better. Yeah. Aye, aye. I stumped my toes the other day. I cut four of them all on the corner of my bed. It was a bloody mess. It was terrible. I cut four of the five toes on my foot when I got up a morning and go. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just kind of like grazed them against the corner of my bed. I don't know how that happened. It just happened. I just in a daze, I kicked my bed, like walking around it. It was, it was terrible. Yeah, to <laughs> cut four of the five toes is terrible. <laughs> um, but other than that, I'm doing pretty good. Great. Um, can you tell me what tea you would be drinking? Anyone? Right now, um, it's English Breakfast by Ahmad Tea. Oh. Yeah. I like it. It's nice. It's a subtle black tea. You know, English Breakfast is more mild than just I know. fully charged black <laughs> tea. Right? It's like bitty bitter. I get that. In yeah. that kind of I way. I prefer English Breakfast. And I like an Earl Grey as my go-to drinkable black, black teas. teas. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think it, it can go well. This one goes well with milk or creamer or whatever, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as well as sweetener or just plain. It's nice. Okay. I am drinking better green tea. I've mm -hmm. had better green teas. This one is very mild. But in that, is, is it strength? Is it? Because I can just... This, I can drink a lot of this and enjoy it, mm -hmm. you know? You know, we drink a lot of tea during throughout the day and whatnot. Yeah. So this is a this is very mild. It's not too strong. It's not too weak. And I like it. Okay. Not the best green tea I've ever had, but perfectly serviceable. Okay, then. Yeah. You had brought something to our attention the Olympics is happening this year. It was supposed to happen last year. And they're going far with it, seeing as how vaccines are getting underway, even though that's not everyone. And, well, within the next few months, the Olympics will be starting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And today, as we've said, we're going to be talking about the Olympics. More specifically, we're going to be talking... Firstly, about the new introductions ah, of yes, disciplines into new sports. Yes. Well, they're not new sports. Into but, the Olympics. Right. In the Olympics. Um, let's see. The first that we have had actually, I think, been in the Olympics before. I think the first and then it too. was reintroduced. Mm -hmm. Now, it is baseball yes. and softball. Yes. So I don't think anyone doesn't know what baseball or softball is, <laughs> but let me explain it, right? You don't need to explain Are baseball. you sure? Okay. There's a base. Nine teams, I mean, two teams of nine players, offensive and defensive. Offenses use it the back, runs around, hits the ball, home runs and runs and blah, blah, blah. That's how you play the game. Okay. Um, right. Anywho, the only difference between uh, baseball and softball, softball is the underhand throw. If I remember yes. correctly, in and... softball they throw underhanded. Yes. In baseball they throw overhanded. And the events are split for male and female. So right. males are baseball and females are softball. softball. Both sports were part of the Olympics until 1992. Mm -hmm. And then they were removed for other events. And, well, no, sorry. They were joined in 1992. They were removed in 2008. Okay. Yeah. For, I guess, you know, sometimes the Olympics cycles out certain um, events mm -hmm. over time. And that, those two were the ones that got removed. I think the main reason why it's being added back now is because baseball is super huge in Japan. I was just going to say that. I was and just going to say that. The Olympics are taking place in Tokyo. Of course they have to have baseball. 
Well, I don't know, but of course. That's like saying, of it's course kind, there should be sumo. It's kind of like their national sport, though. It's, Is that so? It's only second run, second to like MLB, and that's the biggest baseball league in the world. How many actual countries are participating this year, though? You mean in the Olympics? Yes, for the baseball. I don't know. I think Japan, they know the USA. I don't know who else is going to be participating. I think there's supposed to be like six or eight of them. Well, I know. I think that countries like maybe Cuba ah. could put together a team. Oh, Cuba that's true. and Puerto Rico. They have. I know they have like different several players that have played in the MLB. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I don't know if they can put together a team. But a lots of players come from South America. It says here that it'd be United States, Japan, Australia, Italy, Mexico, and Canada. It's those six teams that are participating this year. Hmm. Who do you think is going to win? Um, hmm. Mexico. I would hedge all my bets Italy. on the United States. Wow. I mean, it depends who they put forward for the u.s right but honestly the time that it's gonna put i only the know players. i only know i know players from the united states and i know players from japan those other countries like <laughs> australia and italy <laughs> italy and baseball that sounds weird um what i know even i mean it yeah i don't know man in any case they're not going to have any baseball and softball in the next Olympics uh, after really? this. Yeah. Anyway. It's only for this that's one. What they're and doing. Then being like, that's kind of stupid. The next thing is karate. 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 Oh, that, oh that's not the... karate. Okay, come on. It's oh. karate. Okay. Eh. Christopher, tell the people about karate. Why? It started in like 1868 and it got popular in the 1900s. That's all I know after World War II. And it apparently will not be in the Olympic program in the next Olympics. So another sport only added because it's going to be in Japan. Yeah. Very sus. And it's karate, a sport that is born in Japan. Hmm. It's not... They do that though. They, sometimes know. when it comes to you know certain places who have like whatever traditional things, they didn't do sumo though. <laughs> Anyhow, I don't think so, that'll be something very. So I don't. I don't know how. Anyways. I mean, I know how. I've actually watched sumo. I like some though. of it too. It's not that bad. It's pretty fun, interesting to watch when you know what's going on. In any case, there are two sections of uh, karate. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the kata and the kumite. Okay. The kata is the the forms. You know when they go like, huh? Is it like <laughs> gymnastics? The... the way how you have... No, no, no. You know when they stand and they is individually, you'll be... So you're doing your routine on... of yes, your kata. Yes, how you... Look. How you look, I guess, like with your hands and your legs routine. and your structure as you're doing that. That's that kata. Way? And kumite is the... Fighting, the sparring, the actual fighting one on one with another opponent. Um, you know, there's different points assigned to kicking and punching, and different parts of the that. like the head and the body and stuff are worth different points as well. So yeah, I think I'll enjoy karate. Uh, I look forward to it. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah, as it has kind of a fallen out of popularity as a martial combat type of thing as mm. mixed martial arts is more something that most people are training and it's far more popular nowadays so who knows maybe karate will they say that it's not going again. to go forward though it's not That's sticking around but sad oh. <laughs> anyway What's the next sport? Next one. The next one is the first action sport. We action. got skateboarding. Woo! I kind of don't know why. Don't they already have like like X, X games, games type of thing? Yeah. And that's far more built for, you know, what extreme. 
extreme sports, I guess. It's not really extreme. No, no, whatever. That's what it's called. It's for X Games. To me, this seems very strange to have skateboarding. Does in. it? I mean, it can work. And it's probably going to be the same rules. I just found it really strange that, oh, we're going to have skateboarding. It's too bad that they didn't do it while I was into like the X Games <laughs> and stuff like that. I don't know any of the new kids. Well, you'll probably get introduced to them when you watch the event. I guess so. It'll be probably pretty good. And apparently... Oh, I saw there happened. was a girl. Who? I don't remember her name. But she is... She's 12 years old. I think they say that she's going to be 13. And she's probably Like, during the, event. the the Olympics, she's going to turn 13, I think. But she's the youngest who's going to be participating in skateboarding. So I'm going to oh, watch okay. her. I don't know her name. I can't remember, but I read an article about her. Okay. Well, it seems there's going to be sticking. This is the first one to be sticking past Tokyo. It's going to be at the 2024 Paris Olympics as well. That's great, um, I guess. That's not bad. There are going to be two disciplines. Oh, really? That's all. Park and street. Park will take place in a dome shaped bowl, and skaters focus on maintaining good flow while executing tr- tricks. Street will feature stairs and rails and other features that replicate popular real world obstacles, and judges will judge them based on each run, I guess. Seems very limiting, but at the same time, that's skateboarding competitions in a general, I guess. So, no stunts. I don't know. So no stunts, they don't no have things pipe. like big air, which is, you know, I Real used to always same... want to see big air at the X Games. I suppose. Um,. Anyhow. Interesting. I don't know how that's going to go judging wise. I'll just have to wait and see. What do you mean? I don't think it'll be too difficult. Anyway. We'll see. I know they're going to have professionals that know what they're talking about, deal with that type of stuff, but it'll be interesting to see like whatever layouts people have to skate on and things like that. Next sport. The next thing is sport climbing. Sport climbing. That's right. Sport climbing. Okay. Sport climbing is rock climbing. Okay. 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 Rock climbing. You okay. know rock climbing. So how, so how were they going to be judged? Is it going to be a race? Let me read what they say here. I thought there would be a time limit, but let me read it. It says, the three noteworthy categories of the game will be featured during the 20, well, 21, Olympic speed climbing, bouldering, and lead climbing. Speed climbing involves opponents climbing a 15 meter wall with the winner being the fastest climber. So that's the time. That's very straightforward. Yes. Okay. Climb fastest. Right. On the other hand, bouldering takes the form of climbing an assigned section of rocks or climbing walls without using ropes. Okay. Okay. So this is no support or anything like that. And then finally, lead climbing incorporates the use of ropes to climb a designated route on a climbing wall of a rock. Okay. Designated route. So, okay. I understand how they're going to be doing this. There's a race. Then there's, you have to figure out how to climb this piece of wall by yourself. And then there's this piece of wall you all have to climb, but you have a designated time and you all have help to do it. It's, it's, it's simple. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> the, the word I was trying to get out just now. So, there are three different things, though. They aren't all going to yeah, happen. I know, it's three different events. Yes, okay. figure that out. I'm getting it here. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> um, it's not that complicated. Why do I feel like it will be over quickly unless there are lots of competitors? Mm, who knows? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see, though. I always like I want rock to see- climbing. I-, I would do it as a hobby. Mm, I you know you know with ropes inside of the building. Yeah, I could probably do that, but you know me and heights don't do too well. Well, I would just love it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the one where they have no assistance. I know there's probably going to be like a bouncing, the soft, whatever bed type of thing for them to land on at the bottom. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that one the most. Since they have no assistance. And I want to see people fail. 
Wow. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting. Right. So that is the second, what they call action sport that oh, was introduced. Action sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Um, and I think this is the last one. What is this it? That has been introduced. The last one is also an action sport. It's surfing. Hmm. So surfing. this is what I wanted to say. You know, we come from an island, and I've seen people surf before, and there are surf, surf competitions, competitions and stuff like that as well. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy watching it. Is what I'm saying. Uh, Unless somebody yeah. catches some like what do they call it, catching wave, and do like a big stunt and that, whatever, that, whatever, whatever. I am probably like. I, I don't mind surfing, but watching it as a something, I've never truly been interested Me too. in it. Like, sure, I, I, maybe casually go and ride and surf and maybe just chill on the waves and watch some people and stuff yeah. like that's fine. But we'll see. Um, this is supposedly taking place on out on an actual beach. <laughs> so we'll see how It's actually goes. not taking place in... Um, Japan. No, it's taking place. Look, see, it says Suri Gasaki Beach in Ichinomiya. Is that what it says? Where does it say that? Right there. Oh, it does say that. Suri Gasaki. Yeah, it's oh. forty-five miles from the Olympics. What stadium. am I looking at then? Oh, the one for Paris takes place in Tahiti. Mm -hmm. That's strange as shit. But yeah, I'm surprised this is an actual event they're pulling going forward with. Hmm. Why? The reason why I bought it, the whole Tahiti, the Tahiti in Paris, is not every event is going to have somewhere to do such a thing, you know, to have surfing. So they're just going to like hold it in Tahiti every year and just film it there. Sound, 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 I guess. Why would they keep the surfing and not the karate? I don't know, dude. More surfers? Is that know. <laughs> I okay. don't know. I don't know. Who knows why they they change these things? Oh, there's the basketball. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, next sport. There will be a new Olympic uh, basketball event. There's normal basketball, but there will be basketball three on three. Yeah. For both the men and the women. So it's the same as a 5-on-5 five five game. Games are played on the half court. And scoring consists of one pointers and two pointers. Games are also much shorter with a game ending in 10 minutes. Or after a team reaches 21 points. Or whichever comes first. Okay, so it's just a simple game of 3-3-21. Three, three, not bad. I guess... I'm not sure why they needed this version That's of That's what I was saying as well. Basketball. It was strange. But I guess there are people. There are people who play it. I mean, but I guess they didn't want... The, I, maybe they didn't want to have so the team sport so saturated with all-stars from different parts of the world, I guess, seeing as how that's who gets sent and have a more casual game gaming setup that they could have other people participate in basketball no know. it's not like the people who okay they're different set of athletes i know so it's going to be that's what i mean that, we that don't know, this event probably. was created for more athletes to show off their basketball shots it, the games are going to be fucking short though so. yeah i've actually seen i've actually watched three on three before and is it good it's has to be very quick for what it is right now. Reminds I mean, me of here's um, the thing: it's basketball. Yeah, right? and I know you like basketball, but but it's not as entertaining. There are three people. Yeah. It's basketball. That's all it is. And as, half that's, court. that's that's exactly what I'm saying. It's basketball. There are three people. It's half, it's half court, court and ten minutes. <laughs> uh... And twenty one points is all you need to reach to win. It's first to twenty one. Or 10 minutes. That's what it is. Same. Simple. Another event that's showing up is cycling freestyle BMX. 
of this. This is the last one, okay? Yes. Cycling. Freestyle BMX. Yes. This is just stunts, essentially. There That's used to be a guide I used to follow all those years ago, but I don't remember his name. <laughs> I think it was Sean something. Huh. Or Shane? Uh, I don't know. Or Doug? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying either. This is the last new sport? You sure? Lastly, there are the mixed team events. Ah, right. So both men and women type situation. Yes. Ooh. There is swimming, there's gonna be the mix four by one hundred. Mm -hmm. In track and field there's gonna be the mix four by four hundred. There's archery that's okay. gonna be mixed men and women. And then there's the judo. Judo, there's shooting, there's table tennis, there's triathlon. Okay. Those are all going to be mixed events as well as singular gender that's events. Just, that's fine. That's pretty cool. Reminds me of high school when we had sports day and we always you know, had just boys and girls had mixed events all the time. So it's very Is common. that so? For At your us, school? Yeah. Our sports oh. day was like mixed boys and girl team. There were, we had the single, we also still had all the mixed events, especially for anything that's like a long running event. Mm -hmm. Like run, like relays and like tr not triathlons but maybe most likely like the super long relay that type of shit yeah i think the only thing that used to be mixed was cross country yeah that too i hated cross country <laughs> yeah me too i'm not good with long distance i mean i could do long distance running but i'm gonna take my time that's right. If I'm doing it, then I'm not doing it to compete or to win. I am doing it for points. Just because I'll help my team get the points, but I'm not going to be first. I might come fifth. I know I won't be last, but I also know that I won't be first. And for relays, I always want to be the first leg. Because oh. if I, ha I have that burst of energy, but after that, I can get to the next person. I can make it that we at least third or fourth leave the I rest of the run to somebody else i used to be either the third or the anchor the last leg ah, that's yeah. the two you, that i you used were to pretty run fast i mean school. i could run all all parts though not yeah. by myself obviously that's yeah, not the yeah. same but they would put me wherever they needed somebody mostly like maybe third yeah yeah. I would get put first or like third, but after I got a little bit bigger and taller, I stopped doing a lot of running events. I am not a huge runner, but I can run. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anywho, seeing as how we've done the new ones, I would like to look at the ones that have n that are no longer part of the Olympics. There are a lot of discontinued stuff. But this is mostly stuff that was discontinued long before our time and for various okay. reasons. Okay, is it discontinued today? Yes. These sports are still discontinued from the really? Summer Olympics. That okay. first one can't be true. What? All of these are discontinued, that's what you're saying? Yes. Okay, so read them. Let's not even... Equestrian. Equestrian isn't though. It is. It isn't though because I watched Equestrian um, last time. Did you watch Equestrian vaulting. slash vaulting? Whatever vaulting is, that's it. What? Because there's a difference. What you watch at the current Olympics is dressage. You now you're you're not watching vaulting. You're watching dressage. Eventing and jumping. They're completely I'm literally saying different. that it's not just equestrian. That is what I'm saying Look, as well. I'm literally is... saying the same thing as you. Yes. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Another thing that I guess they claim to be gone is handball. It definitely is. They're unfair. talking about field handball. Yes. Handball, field handball is played on a court inside that is kind of like rubbery. Yes. It's not rubber, but you know. I know exactly what you mean. It's still handball, but it's not feel handball. It had to have feel hockey. Yes. That's Next. correct. Um, rugby. 
Okay, so for rugby, they don't have rugby like how they have. Um, that means they don't have um the uh... rugby rugby, but they had last time they had rugby sevens, I think. When? Um, last time. Not last. Last time would have been uh when about ninety two. Yeah, last time was ninety two. No, no, no. Yeah. So I watched. Wait, no, it's not even ninety two. It was last time was way down the road in nineteen twenty four. Right. So what I'm saying is. Is different from the rugby here. So there's a rugby type sport in the Olympics. You sure about that? Yes, Fiji won last time. Are you? Oh, there you're. You're correct. Rugby sevens. Yes, you're correct. <laughs> so what's so just like seven people on a team? Yes, yes. Let's move on, because Christopher. <laughs> the next one is Basque Pelota. Basque pelota. Yes. It's about a ball. Pelota yeah. is a ball. So it's a court sport. You use a hand and a racket and you hit it against a ball. Well, they're, they don't play it anymore. Is it like squash? Maybe? Because I see a lot of walls. It seems like it plays against a wall the same type of way, but there's different ways how points are gained and how teams play. But it might be kind of like squash. Anywho, they don't play it anymore. Interesting sport. Okay, next. Next. <laughs> cricket. And I feel this is more because cricket has its own huge fucking thing that happens every year, a couple of years, every other year. Yeah. And it, there's so many teams, and it takes so long. Well, 2020 doesn't. 2020 is still... Kim, 2020 is or quick, yeah. And I love that version of the sport. But they can still go for a but long time. But they can time. still go it's for a long true. time. It's true. And the amount of teams that they would have, if they would actually... Ch- ch- is ch- a lot of countries play cricket. Yeah. Cricket yeah. and football are the most played sports in the world. And the most I mean, they should introduce sports. cricket. <laughs> Not 20, though. How about... Tens. <laughs> no, no, no. How about 12? I don't think so. No. Yeah, I don't think so either. What mm. about 15? No. I don't think... In any case, it any would be nice. Overs I think a lot it. of people would like that. Fast cricket is a good cricket. <laughs> like, seriously, 20... the reason why 2020s was so popular is because it's not... 50, 50, 50 or 60 test match over the bullshit that goes on for like four or five days and also garbage. I just, yeah, I, no, 2020s is something that you could go and watch in a night. Perfect. Anywho, the next sport is croquet. Yes, ah, uh, the last thing I that can't happened, believe that was actually in the Olympics. Wow, I mean, yeah. That's crazy. Whenever I think about croquet, I just think of like a, as a old person sport that you play when you get to a certain age and you can't really? play nothing else. Do you play it when you get to a certain age? Hey, the the way how croquet comes across, they either in like shows they make it look like some fancy sport, but it's so fucking like you you hitting yeah. a ball through and a little thing. It's so simple. This is what it it's is. like. It's like a cricket ball. It's lazier heavy, golf, right? <laughs> They're heavier <laughs> balls and they're bigger. Yeah. And then you have a a long hammer and then there's a little arch. Yes. And it's like that you sport you play with your kid in the backyard where they hit the ball into or like something at the You know what I mean? I know. Pretty sure I had a croquet toy set as a kid. Who Anything. didn't? Who didn't? <laughs> Lacrosse. What? That's not true. Yeah. Lacrosse is in. They claim that it's not. The last time that it was at the Olympics was like 1948. Um, the then it Olympics. must be some other lacrosse. Like, the way how they. You know, the way how I'm figuring it out, they, like, they have different names and different Because types you want to know how I remember? I remember because a girl from. A lady from the Netherlands last time got whacked in the face. When was or this? Or was that hockey? That might have been hockey. 
Okay, so lacrosse it's... is not in the Olympics. No, it's not. Okay, they play a lot of um, what is it? College lacrosse, still, don't they? I don't know how the sport works. I've been told that know? it's a rut. It's like you're, it's like. No, no, no. This is how it's okay. It's like this. Look at me. Look at me. Pay attention. Listen. I'm listening. Okay, so you have a long. It's a let's call it a long racket, but it's a racket that has an end that catches like a basket, a net. Mm -hmm. I know what okay? it looks like. Okay, it's like that, and you throw the ball from person to person, teammate to teammate, and you throw it in the net, and that's how you score. Okay. In the goal net, not in your net racket. So it's like, okay, I get it. Not interested to actually play that sport though. Never mm -hmm. have been. A sport that I've never even heard of. Joe de Palm? Yeah, I've never heard of Joe de Palm either. What is Joe de Palm? Let's see. The last time that it took place at the Olympics was in 1908, and there's an exhibition event in 1924. Let's see what this is. It looks like it's old. Oh. It says it was an indoor precursor of tennis played ah, without rackets. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, this. Last time this was played in the 1900s, so yeah, it was before tennis. Tennis, it's like the granddad of um, tennis. Polo is the next sport. That, that is, no is... oh, okay. Sorry, I'm thinking about the wrong thing. Yes, Not water you are. polo. Sorry. Sorry. Polo. Okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. There's probably too much horsing around to actually deal with that. Uh -huh. Okay. The best sport is rackets. Well, this is also because this is like a close version of tennis. Yeah. Rackets, mm -hmm. rock, rook. Okay. Yeah. Another type of weird croquet type sport as yeah. well. All of these are from like way back in, in the grind. day. All these sports are no longer exist. Tug of war should definitely Come be reintroduced. Back. I mean, that would be kind of cool. Definitely, that would be super cool. They have this. This what should they do? They just can't have one tug of war. You know, they have to have different tug of wars. I mean, it would be pretty cool to have the like strongman competition, strongman, and this. But have they have the... their own things. I think that's yeah, why a lot do. of those things aren't in the Olympics. Because, a lot of these aren't. You know, in the Olympics, I don't anymore. mean these. These few, this Jodie Palm rackets and rope are not in anymore because tennis exists, pretty much, and that's better than, than all of those nonsense. Apparently, there was a water type sport thing too, but that was way back it in the day. Motor sports, water Read it. motor sport, but that was like in 1908 and stuff like that. I mean, and there's already different water type sport sport competitions that take place all over the world. And I don't see the Olympics really adding anything that takes a lot of... Um, I don't see it either. The Olympics is all about people, athletic, athleticism, right? Getting in a vehicle and pushing the gas and being good is a different level of skill than normally what the Olympics is looking for, I think. Uh, like, I'm not going to say that an athlete who drives a car is any worse off than a, a person running. But at the same time, I think that's why they don't have a lot of that type of stuff. The, the most you will see is, I guess, biking. And that that's all under humans for power. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, you got what I mean, right? Yeah. The, the equipment yes. that is used, if any at all, is not about how it um, affects the person, but how they affect it or what they're yes. um that's why biking and skateboarding anything that's why like, even riding a horse exactly because it takes... influences the word exactly the person's influence on the equipment then again, they you are could say using that a driver's influence is what call on their car is what causes them to win i hear you but how many sports in the olympics have anything with motors not a lot none actually that's exactly Anywho, that's why those events have their own competitions and whatnot that are pretty big themselves. Uh, they have figure skating and ice hockey aren't here. But the but reason they were, moved. they were just moved to the Winter right. Olympics. So it doesn't make, make sense to have them here anymore. 
But yeah, that's all the discontinued events. Um, what event though are you looking forward to actually watching at the Olympics? What do you? What do you go to the Olympics to truly see? And I enjoy? go to the Olympics for everything. Everything. <sighs> what do you go to the Olympics <laughs> to truly see? Not the golf, though. Oh, God. <laughs> um, let me just tell you. I said everything. Let me take that back. Not the golf. Uh, besides all of those top sports, you know, it's always like track and field stuff. Mm -hmm. I love track and field. And one of my favorite things at track and field is the pole vault. Uh, me okay. Too. Me I love too. that. I you want to know why it like... makes me nervous? <laughs> Yes. You know, for them. Yeah. And I get nervous and it's just like, oh my God, you can do it. You can do it. And then when they feel, I'm just like, oh my God, don't fall. And then they fall. I'm like, whoa. I quite like watching pole vaulting. Too. Yeah, it's me very too. Good. Um, I like archery, you know, I like archery. I, mean, I like in archery, the... but I don't watch it often whenever it comes it's on. It's really quiet in there in the archery and the shooting area because they have to like focus. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then they go like, pew, and you just hear the thing, and it just, whew, I love it. I like uh, the archery as well. For me, I quite like um, athletics. I don't mind maybe the relays. I quite like the relays. Everybody likes the one hundred meters, the two hundred meters. Those are what people always That's talk about. That's why I just I didn't mention those. I was talking about. But I really other. like I really like the relays. They're always very nail biting sometimes i think the people like the swimming as well and the swimming, swimming really has well. gotten super popular mm -hmm. ever since um michael phelps destroyed a lot of people at the time when he showed up uh but what i really like at the is gymnastics yes yeah i just it's that's so, it's one of so those good. ones that i didn't mention though because it's so like up there yeah gymnastics athletics and swimming or concerts yeah the most well most watched, watched and yeah like sports at the Olympics. but i really like gymnastics so do i it's really really entertaining and fun and seeing people spin on the um the pommel horse is always uh -huh. cool especially when they get really really fast and you're like don't fall off don't fall off don't i'm hurt not yourself. like don't fall off i'm like don't hit your leg yeah don't hit your leg. Especially, I, I always get, when I see the fellas doing it, and then they swing, and it's like, whoa, you nearly Ooh. just took all of your balls off. I have course. another one that I really like. What? I really love to watch diving. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Synchro and synchronized the, diving. The, <sighs> the big, the, the tall, high one, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's pretty good, too. I like that. You want to know why? Shall yeah. I tell you why? It's why? their bodies. Not mean, just men, but the women. How they just... Let me let me tell you something. They are so thick. <laughs> it's not a joke. It is for real, for real. Like, they have the most defined back muscles. I feel in the Olympics. I could be the wrong, and but divers. they are amazing. You know when they do the handstand on the deck there, and then they like push off, and it's like, oh my god. And then they do all the amazing. stuff. It's pretty freaking cool to do. Yeah. Not something that I ever want to do. Uh, the heights of that thing are already just... Woof. I mean, I would jump in if someone was going to save me. Because you know I can't I You can't, can't swim. swim. You just But if you was down there and you told me to. you were going to save me, then I would trust you. I'd and like, I'll in. save you when you start to swim yourself, Kim. <sighs> I, see. I won't let you drown. <laughs> <sighs> I see, I see. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this year. Last year was Are a you? shit show. Yeah, I mean, it, I hope it's good. I hope, no, I hope the athletes bring their A game. I hope nobody gets sick. So, it'll be entertaining. I cannot wait. Yes, me too. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait. Anyhow, for anyone who wants to watch the Olympics, it starts on the 23rd of July this year, 2021. 23rd? Mm -hmm of july okay prepare yourselves um despite gong we should have mentioned this in the beginning but apparently there are 60 percent of japanese who don't want the olympics to happen because it's their country and covid yeah. well yeah it makes sense not everyone has gotten the vaccine 
and, and there's there's athletes who are about... saying that they won't get the vaccine exactly and the olympic village is going to have a whole bunch of people and you don't want them to get a you know super spreader event because you're going to have people coming into the country and so yeah and that's why it didn't take place last year and tokyo is still pushing forward with it so we'll see we can only hope that safety precautions are taken and it's understandable not wanting to have a huge event like the olympics take place during a pandemic i hear you i so, hear you but also if it doesn't happen then it won't happen yeah you know and then they'll push it off i think i will cry <laughs> you just i will wait another year cry no it's not another year if the olympics does not happen in 2021 right, it won't happen, happen until 2024 oh, yeah. they cannot uh, like put it off again i will literally ball well that's sad tough luck for you <laughs> anyhow don't say that <laughs> It will happen it on the 23rd of July, no, 2021. The opening ceremony of the Olympics, everybody. The 23rd of July. I just have to keep repeating it to, you know, solidify it in the universe kind of thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to wrap up that episode while Kim is still gushing about the Olympics. The 23rd. And I hope you guys... Have a good night. Of July. Good night, everyone. <laughs>